Hello everyone. Today we'll learn how to troubleshoot a power over Ethernet (POE) power supply failure. After a powered device or PD is connected to a switch, you may find that the switch cannot provide power to the PD. Possible causes include 1. POE is unavailable. 2. The power sourcing equipment or PSE cannot detect the PD. 3. The PSE cannot provide power to the PD. First, let's check whether PoE is available. 1. Check that the device supports PoE. 1. Run the display PoE device command to check whether the device supports PoE. 2. If the device name of a fixed switch display in the display device command output contains PWR, the switch supports PoE. 3. Among modular switches, only the S7700 models with PoE power slots support PoE. You can run the display version command on a modular switch. If the support PoE field displays yes, the switch supports PoE. If you run the display power command on a PoE supporting switch, PoE power slots will be displayed. On modular switches, only ES0, D0G, 48 VA00 cards support PoE. To ensure modular switches provide PoE power normally, confirm that ES0, D0G, 48 VA00 cards have dual inline memory modules, DIMMs, installed, and that the ES0, D0G, 48 VA00 cards, as well as CMU cards, work properly. Two. Check that PoE power modules are working properly. 1. To support PoE and provide power to PDs, switches must have PoE power modules installed. If no PoE module is installed, the system will display the PoE power is absent when you run the display PoE device command. 2. All fixed PoE switches have matching PoE power modules installed before delivery. For details about PoE power modules and power configuration modes supported by different device models, see Power Supply in Hardware Description Chassis. Three, modular PoE switches, namely S7700 PoE switches, must have PoE power modules installed into PoE power slots. Supported PoE power module types include 800 watt AC power modules, 2200 watt AC power modules, 2200 watt DC power modules. Three, check that PoE has been enabled on interfaces. PoE is enabled on interfaces by default. Run the display this command on an interface to check the configuration of the interface. If the command output contains the undo PoE enable configuration, PoE has been disabled on the interface. Then run the PoE enable command on the interface to enable PoE. If the PD cannot be powered after PoE is available and enabled, you need to check whether the PSE has detected the PD. Theoretically, an interface can automatically detect and classify a PD after the PD is connected. If the power of the interface is sufficient, the interface can provide power to the PD automatically. If the power of the interface is insufficient, the interface remains in classification completed state. If you find that an interface remains in detecting state in the display PoE power state command, the PSE cannot detect the PD. Perform the following steps to locate the fault. 1. Check that the PSE supports the PD. Check whether the PD is an 802.3 AAF or 802.3 AT device. If it is neither, run the PoE legacy enable command on the interface the PD is connected to to enable the interface to check compatibility of non-standard PDs. Two, check that the network cable between the PSE and PD is working normally. Replace the network cable with another one that is known to work properly to check whether the fault is rectified. Three, check that the switch is grounded. If the network cable is working normally, check whether the switch is grounded. If not, ground the switch. Four, check that the PD functions properly. If the switch is grounded, check whether the PD is faulty. Move the PD to another working interface and then run the display PoE power state command to check the status of the interface. 
If the interface is in powered state, the original interface is faulty. If the PSC still cannot detect the PD, the PD is faulty. If the PSC detects the PD, but the PD still cannot be powered, run the display PoE power state command. The command output shows that the PD remains in classification completed state. Perform the following steps to locate the fault. 1. Check the PoE power supply distance. PoE reliable power supply distance is 100 meters at most. Ensure that the network cable between the PSE and PD does not exceed 100 meters. 2. Check whether automatic PoE power management is disabled and manual PoE power management is not configured on the interface. If the PoE power management mode has been set to manual using the PoE power management manual command, you need to run the PoE power on interface, interface type, interface number command to manually provide power to the PD connected to the interface. 3. Check whether the PD is powered in the PoE power off time range. Check the interface configuration. If the configuration contains the PoE power off time range, time range name, command configuration, a PoE power off time range has been set on the interface. Check whether the PD is powered in the PoE power off time range. 4. Check whether the PoE power is sufficient. 1. Check whether the PoE power on the interface is sufficient. Run the display PoE power interface, interface type, interface number command to check the reference power of the PD connected to the interface and the configured maximum output power of the interface. If the configured maximum output power of the interface is smaller than the reference power of the PD, the PD may fail to be powered because of insufficient PoE power. You can run the PoE power port max power command to set the maximum output power of the interface larger than the reference power of the PD. Two, check whether the remaining PoE power of the device is smaller than the configured maximum output power of the interface to which the PD is connected. The formula for calculating the device's remaining PoE power is as follows. Device's remaining PoE power equals device's available PoE power multiplied by parentheses 1 minus reserved PoE power percentage parentheses minus device's used PoE power. If you want to check the device's available and used PoE power, run the display PoE information command. If you want to configure the device's maximum output power, run the PoE max power command. If you want to check the reserved PoE power percentage, run the display PoE power command. If this percentage is set to a large value, more PoE power is reserved and less PoE power will be provided to PDs. To reduce the reserved PoE power percentage, run the PoE power reserved power reserved command. 5. When the system PoE power is sufficient, try to provide power to the PD forcibly. If the fault persists and the system PoE power is sufficient, run the PoE force power command on the interface to forcibly provide power to the PD. If the fault persists, check whether a hardware failure has occurred. Replace the PoE device or PoE board to try to provide power to the PD. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. How can we find these threads? We can enter, quote, all about switches, unquote, site, colon, Huawei.com. In the search field of Google, and click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the home page. The All About Switches threads describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing. Thank you.